Welcome back to the Coach Cameron Podcast. This is episode 620 as I I am actively preparing for our Sunday show. For the ones that don't know, we now do a live show every Sunday at 7 o'clock-ish. Uh, we plan on uh, beginning our podcast this Sunday at 7 Mountain Standard Time. Last Sunday, we were on and we got on about 7.20. It was a soft opening. We didn't really promote it, but uh, it's a good show. Uh, you can actually see... Uh, the live show from uh, this past Sunday on my YouTube channel and Facebook page. And uh, check it out. You'll kind of see the format. We have live cameras in the backyard. We have four cameras in our studio. And uh, we cover a lot of topics. It's more of a soccer parody. And uh, we're excited about it. This Sunday, we have Sasha Hunter, the director of coaching of the Strikers Soccer Club and an ex-professional soccer player and the head coach for Chandler High School, on the show, and we also have Dr. Sadek. He's going to be on the show talking about stress and anxiety that parents cause. Well, he's just going to talk about the stress and anxiety and uh, what that does to the body and how it slowly uh, kills you and how parents uh, attribute to that uh, slow death for their children as they bring stress and anxiety into their lives from the sideline, which they shouldn't do, but it is what it is. And as you can see, I'm wearing my my uh, doctor's outfit for a skit we do. Uh, a lot of cool skits. Uh, be sure to tune in. But let's talk about soccer as of today. The Associated Press says, extra concussion substitutes to be trialed in world soccer stage. So the soccer competitions can, set, uh, can start these uh, trials next month, and they can substitute players that have suspected uh, concussions and this all got approved this past Wednesday. The International Football Association Board said the extensive trials will be allowed uh, to focus that if in doubt the player uh, can be withdrawn from the competition and they can be replaced, allowing no disadvantages and no pressure on the coaches or management to um, make rushed medical decisions. This is good. This is good for the game. And I imagine the way you know things go with competition they're going to find a way to cheat this rule to gain an advantage and that's just the nature of sports but this is important to um, have corrected so athletes don't concuss them themselves but uh, let's just move on to the other news of the day we have Sarah Fuller uh, she might need a winter soccer job back after football career ends and and I find it funny how this comes up now as a story because Sarah Fuller is a story Hence, I'm talking about her. She's the story, whatever. So she has earned her job back, and her coach made a statement. And he says, the truth is she has to earn her spot back. Vanderbilt soccer coach Darren Ambrose told the, the Tennessean, no matter what success she had in football, she was in a very competitive situation at goalkeeper and did very well for us in the SEC tournament. But she knows that when we come back in January, she's got to be ready to go. Yeah, and, you know, that's an interest, interesting statement. Imagine her, this this man, this man, this white man, uh, Darren Ambrose not playing her, the 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 golden child, child for the woke left right now, uh, the SB winner. She's going to win, like, 52 SBs. Uh, she's the, the She's the doll. Of the media, and if he doesn't play her, they need to fire this white man with privilege. They need to do it because it's not acceptable to have uh, people of privilege making decisions on females. I just think it's just not appropriate, and neither should you. Moving on, Neymar is a baby. Yes, he is. So, Neymar is, uh, I saw this, uh, Tiago Mendez uh, decided to take him out. And um, it, I thought, you know, his ankle broke, and they show replay after replay after replay. And I'm like, where did his ankle kind of turn? I was, I was kind of like, I was waiting for his ankle just to snap in half, and, you know, as it was in slow-mo, and it was nothing. He tweaked his ankle, and he acted like he died, so much so that the referee gave him gave uh, T uh, Tiago Mendez a red card. And maybe he deserved it because the way he went in and kind of scissored him. But he was going for the ball, and his back leg came through, and maybe, you know, he had some intent there. But the referee gave him a yellow, which seemed like a yellow card uh, injury. But the way 
freaking uh, Neymar behaved, cr- looking like he was going to die and screaming and crying. And, you know, there's no crowd. So you really hear it. So I, I, I encourage you to go listen to it. Oh, my gosh. He like, he, we thought he was out for months. And to find out he's not. He is going to be back soon, within maybe probably two weeks. And uh, I wonder if he, is it, is it his sister's birthday or something? Because doesn't he always fake an injury every year? Um, or get injured every year so he can go back to Brazil for a birthday party or something. He does something like that. I like this news of the day. Moving on to the Real Salt Lake announcement. Departure of the Utah Royals FC general manager, Stephanie Lee. So she doesn't have a job. Why? Because they left. You know, and I wonder how much support she was with them not playing, uh, not playing the game deciding to quit an hour before the game that led to this whole travesty of what's going to RSL. Actually, it's good because I think the rising is going to get an MLS franchise, and I encourage that uh, the ownership sell it to the rising. You can do it. I believe in you. So Real Salt Lake has announced the departure of the Utah Royals FC general manager, Stephanie Lee. Utah Ro- Royals, Royals FC ceased operations last week after the rights of the players were transferred to the ownership group in Kansas City, Kansas. I've enjoyed my time in Utah, and I am so thankful for the opportunity to aid in building the Utah Royal FC organization from the beginning, Lee said. We had a grand vision and a strategic plan to get there, and it, it is disappointing for us that we won't be able to do it, uh, to see that come to life, but success requires re- resiliency. So for myself, our staff, and our community, we will learn and grow from this experience as she has no job. Why? Because they ticked off this guy. So this is uh, Deloy Harris, I think. I always forget his name. It's Deloy Har- Harris, I believe. Deloy, whatever. Uh, he is uh, ticked because he was mad they didn't play a game because this the whole uh, Black Lives uh, Matters movement went national or worldwide and they shut down an hour before after he put a lot of time and money, as so many others did, and he was upset about that. And because he was upset they didn't play the game, he was called a racist, and they, they won't stop going after him. And he apologized immediately. Sorry, I, you know, he's like, I, I, I didn't mean to be insensitive or anything like that. Do you, do you know how much money this man contributes to uh, villages in Africa? I mean, he, he, this guy is uh, someone that actually helps the community, helps others, but they're just going to nail him because he disagreed how they're handling uh, their, their, their march for change or their perceived want for change. Uh, and they call him racist and everything that you can think about. And then they went after everyone that was surrounding them. And now what? Royals are out. I think RSL is going to be sold out, like soon, because he's not going to let the MLS do it. I think that's why the Rising is going to get it. It's going to be awesome, and that's the show for today. Reminder, this Sunday, 7 p.m., we're going to live. So if we screw up, we screw up. If connections aren't working, they're not working. It's kind of nerve-wracking. I kind of like that, and be sure to be there. So it's 7 p.m. Arizona time. That's Mount Standard time. I don't know, understand any other times, the, the whole – East Coast time and all the change. We don't change time in Arizona. So I really don't understand the, if it were three hours behind, two hours behind uh, Eastern time or what, whatever. We're about standard time. So please join us as we give it a shot. And uh, it's going to be a great show this Sunday, 7 o'clock. We'll see you then. Bye.